now in the next two sections there is a story a journey which hazrat musa alaihi salatu wasalam took with someone we are not sure who was he whose name is not given generally we know him by the name of khizr alaihi salam there are various opinions about the person of and personality of khizr one is that he was an angel sent down on this earth so that he teaches to hazrat musa alaihi salatu wasalam some of the wisdom divine wisdom something that he was a saint dead long before but his spirit is there and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has retained it in this world and it guides people on different occasions etc etc but i think there's no need of going into this discussion only the essence of what he taught and what is the reality that moses came to know through him that is important وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِفَتَاهُ Just recall when Moses said to his servant, لَا أَبْرَهُ حَتَّى أَبْلُغَ مَجْمَعَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ أَوْ أَمْزِيَا حُقْبَى I am not going to give up until I reach the place where the two rivers or two seas, they meet. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told him, go there where the two rivers or two seas, they meet. And there you will find a person. And he will teach, teach you certain things. Now there are two opinions. One is that this is what the Nile, River Nile, Ad Nilul Arzak, Al Nilul Abiyas. There are two Niles, you know, in in Sudan, but then they join together. And when they when it enters Egypt, it is one Nile. So maybe the jo- joining place of the two Niles, you know, the Blue Nile and the White Nile. might be that place where he was sent wallahu alam so he said i am not going to give up till i reach there where the two seas or rivers meet or i can go on for years falamma balaga majma bainihima when they both reached the point of meeting of those two rivers nasiya huta huma they had for their you know breakfast or something like that some fish roasted fish they f- forgot to take with them nasiya huta huma fattakhadha sabilahu fil bahr saraba now this roasted fish became alive and dug a burrow in the sand and and went to the sea or the river falamma jawaza when the both of them had gone further qala le fataho now musa said to his servant atna ghadana bring us that breakfast our food لَقَدْ لَقِينَا مِنْ سَفَرِنَا هَذَا نَصَبَا Now we have tired. We have got it, you know, with, from this journey. We have been tired now. قَالَ هَرَائِتَا The servant was Joshua of Bible, Joshua. And we call them Yusha ibn Noon. Joshua, he became the caliph after Hazrat Musa, alayhi salatu wa salam. And under his leadership, the Bani Israel, they captured Jericho. Jericho is the city, which was the first city which was captured in Palestine by Bani Israel under the command of Joshua. And this Joshua is as a servant with Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wa salam in this journey. Qala raheta. Joshua said to him, look, is avayna ila sakhrate. When we had taken refuge on that chatan, on that sakhra, on that rock, faindi nasit ulhut. I just forgot to look after that fish. Waman sani ho illa shaitanu naskura. Definitely, Satan made me forget that I didn't mention it to you. What takhda sabila ho fil bahar? Ajaba. And that fish that became alive, and then it took the its way into this into the sea or into the river, and it is very strange thing that has happened. Kala zale ka ma kunna nabwe. Moses said, "Musa alayhi salam was said, 'This what this is what we were looking for. Allah has told him that something very strange will happen somewhere, and there you will find the person to whom we are sending you.' Qala zale ka ma kunna nawi. He said, 'This is what we were after. For tada ala asari hima qasasa. Now they retraced their steps and came back to that place where the two rivers were meeting.'" 
and where that fish had disappeared into the water. For Vajada Abdam min Ibadina. There they found our bondsman, one of our bondsmen, Abdam min Ibadina, one of our servant, from our servants, Atainahu Rahmatam Minna. We had given them mercy from us. And we had taught him knowledge from the store of knowledge with us. Musa. Musa said to him, Should I follow you? I remain with you. Keep your company. But you will have to teach me some of what you have been taught of right judgment. Some of the knowledge, special knowledge that Allah has given you. If you promise to teach me, then I should remain with you for some time, for some days. He said, you won't be able to have patience with me. And how can you have patience about those things, about the knowledge of which you don't have? Apparently, you'll find I'm doing something wrong and you will not be able to keep quiet. You will speak out and just that happened. We will see later on. So you will not be able to be patient with me. Moses said, Inshallah, you will find me patient person. And I will never disobey you. Whatever you, your instruction, I will follow. Then he said, if you follow me, if you, if you keep my company, then don't ask anything from me. Hatta zikra. Till such time that I myself disclose to you some of the secrets of what I have been doing. Fantalaka, now they departed. Hatta izara keba fi safinate. But when they mounted, boarded a boat, kharakaha, he made a hole in the boat, bottom of the boat. Kala kharaktaha le tuhrika ahlaha. How could Hazrat Musa be patient with it? He said, you have made a hole in the bottom of the boat. You want to drown its occupants? Certainly you have done a very grievous thing. He said, didn't I say to you, you will not be able to be patient with me. He said, you don't bring to me to the book on which I have forgotten. It was just, you know, I forgot. Reproach me not for which I forgot. And oppress me not in my affair. He said, okay. Then they continued their journey. Till that time that they met a young boy and he killed him. Musa said, you have killed a human life, innocent life. Without his having having been having killed anybody. No law. Again, you have done something very bad. That person said, Didn't I say to you that you won't be able to have patience with me? Hazrat Musa said, Now if I ask anything again, then you can say me to depart. Then don't keep me with you. Lakad balakta min ladunni uzra. You have reached now that level of excuse about me. I won't be able to complain that why you are parting ways from me. Because twice I have committed a mistake. But if a third time I commit a mistake, you will be justified to say go away. Fan talaqa. Again they continued the journey. Hatta iza ataya ahla kariyat in istatama ahlaha. Till such time that they came to a township. And they wanted the people of that town or village to feed them. Travelers, you know, in the olden times, people used to feed them as guests. For Abawa, you said, you But those people were so wicked of that township that they, they denied, they refused to feed them and to play host to them. For Vajada Fiha Jedaran Yuridu in Qadwa. Now they found there in that city or township a wall which was going to collapse. Fa'aqama, that person was there, that person Khizr, he straightened it, rectified it. 
قال لو شیت اللہ تخست علیہ اجرا حضرت بوسا سیٹ یو کڈ ڈیمانڈ یو ڈونٹ لیبر فرام دیم دے آر سو وکٹ پیپل دے آر ناٹ ریڈی ٹو فیڈ اس اینڈ یو ہیو ڈن دس ورک فار دیم وداؤٹ اینی ویجز یو شوڈ ہیو ڈیمانڈیڈ ویجز کال حاضا فراق و بیدی و بیدی ہی سیٹ ناؤ دس از دی پارٹنگ آف ٹائم دس از دی ٹائم آف پارٹنگ آف ویس بٹ ول می اینڈ یو سو نبے او کا بے تعویل مالم تستطے علیہ صبرا ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکلوز ٹو یو دی سیکرٹس اباؤٹ وچ یو کوڈنٹ بی پیشنٹ نمبر ون اما سفینہ تو ایز فار دیٹ بوٹ فقارت لے مساکین یا ملونہ فل بہار دیٹ بلونگ ٹو سرٹن پور پیپل ہو آر ورکنگ آن دی سی ٹیکنگ پیسنجرس فرام دس سائڈ ٹو دیٹ سائڈ فارت تو ان آئی بہا اینڈ آئی انٹینڈیڈلی آئی ڈیمیج ڈٹ وکانا ورا ہوں ملک یا خود کل سفیرت رسما بیکاز بہائنڈ دیم دیر واز اے کنگ ہو واز کنفسکیٹنگ اینڈ اینکسنگ آل دی بوٹس نا وین ہی ول سی دیٹ دس بوٹ از ڈیمیج ہی ول اسپیئر اٹ سو دس ہول بوٹ ول بی اسپیئرڈ فار دیم ہیڈ اٹ بین کریکٹ اینڈ ایبسولیوٹلی فٹ دین دی ہول بوٹ ووڈ ہیو گون فرام دیم سو ایکچولی یو تھنک دیٹ آئی ہیو ڈن سم تھنگ بیڈ فار دیم اٹ از ایکچولی گڈ فار دیم فار دیئر بینیفٹ دیٹ ناؤ دیٹ کنگ ول ناٹ ٹیک دس دس بوٹ فرام دیم وامل گنا ایز فار دیٹ بوائے فقان اب واہ مومنین ہز پیرنٹس آر بلیورس اینڈ دے آر گڈ پیپل فخشین آئی یور ہی کہما تو یان و کفرا بی فیئرڈ دیٹ اف دس بوائے بیکمز میچیور ہی ول اپریس ہز پیرنٹس ود انسولنس اینڈ ان گریٹیچیوڈ ہی کوڈ سی دیٹ ہی از ناٹ اے جینٹل مین جینٹل بوائے ہی ول بی اے ہیڈ ایک فار دی پیرنٹس فارنا یوب دل ہما رب ہما خیر امین ہو زکات و اقرب رحما سو وی ڈیسائڈیڈ دیٹ اللہ سبال و تعالیٰ ٹیکس ہم بیک اینڈ گیو دیم ان اٹس پلیس اینڈ در سن ہو مائٹ بی بیٹر دین ہم ان پیورٹی اینڈ نیئر ان افیکشن و ام الجدار اینڈ ایز فار دی وال فقان علی غلام یتیمین فل مدینہ تھے اٹ بلونگ ٹو ٹو آرفن بوائز ان دی سٹی وکان تحت ہو کنز الحما بنیت دی فاؤنڈیشن آف دیٹ وال دیر واز اے ٹریئر فار دیم وکان ابو ہما صالحہ اینڈ دی فادر آف دیز ٹو آرفنس ہی واز اے ویری پائس پرسن ہی ہیڈ سیو سم تھنگ فار ہز ینگ آرفن سنس یو نو ون ہی واز ڈائنگ اینڈ ہی بریڈ دیئر ان دی فاؤنڈیشن آف دس وال ناؤ اف دس وال از اف اٹ کولیپسز دی ٹریئر ول بی اپیرنٹ اٹ ول کم آؤٹ and people will take it because the orphans are still minor they won't be able to protect their wealth so farada rabbuka so your lord decided it ay yabluga ashuddahuma they reach their maturity wa yastakhrija kanzahuma and then they take out from that the foundation of that wall their treasure rahmatam mir rabbik all this was manifestation of the mercy of your lord Apparently, you thought I have done something wrong. Now, what is the lesson in it? In this world, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends something to me, which is not pleasant, I think it is bad. Maybe there is something good in it. Asaan tohibbu shayyan wa huwa sharrul lukum. Wa asaan takrahu shayyan wa huwa khairul lukum. It's just possible. You might be disliking something, but there is good for you in that. And likewise, it is also possible. that you might like something but there must be bad in it for you so actually allah knows and you don't know wallahu ya'lam wa antum la ta'lamu so whatever is happening in this world to us we should think is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some good is intended by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi yadihi al khair in his hand is all good whatever comes from him is good for me although apparently immediately instantly it might appear to be unpleasant for me but in the long run if it is coming from my lord it must be beneficial for me this is the lesson of iman which hazrat musa alaihi salatu wasalam got through this journey zalika ta'wilu ma lam tastati alayhi tasti alayhi sabra this is the real interpretation on of those things on which you could not have patience